Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to draw one of these eye beams here. So there's a section through the beam and as you can see here I've got some um, dimensions of this uh, particular beam up here. And what I'm just going to uh, show you here is I've got some information, some data. So if you wanted to draw this from, from scratch and you have some uh, information like this, you could, you could use this tutorial to do that. The only thing that's missing is the radius between the, um, the web and the flange. So as you can see, I've already drawn here in AutoCAD uh, the beam, but I'm going to show you how to, I, I've done that. So the very first thing I need to do is look at the overall uh, depth. So we have here, from this point to this point, is uh, 198 millimeters. So what the first thing I do is I draw a line. Doesn't matter where you go, just pick a point on your screen and left click. And then when you move your mouse, it should be going in either direction, either up uh, or down or uh, you know across. If it's sort of doing this, just press the F8 key on your keyboard and that turns on orthographic mode, which means it turns on it like that. So I'll face it in the direction I want to go. I'll type 198 and press space or enter. And I'll go back to the drawing. And now we want to look at the, so the next one is the flange width. So this bottom bit here and this top bit here, these are the, this is the flange. So it's telling me from here to here, it's 99 millimeters. So now I can just go across 99 millimeters. And if I want to, I can come down again 198 and then left click there. All right, so we've got our rough outline there. So I've done that one. Now the next thing it's telling us is the flange thickness. So that's the flange there. So it's saying that's seven millimeters thick and that'll be for the top and the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is use the offset command. So type O for offset and then type seven. And then I can select this line and face that direction and select this line and point in the direction I want it to offset. As you can see now we've got an offset of seven millimeters there and seven millimeters there for the flange. This dimension here, we don't really need to worry about because we've already got that dimension. Basically that dimension there is from here to here, so it's the inside between the flanges. So it says 184, so if I measure that from here to here, you can see down the bottom here I've got 184, so that's already that's already set. All right, so we've got that. Now the next one is the web thickness, so four and a half millimeters. So what I'll do is I'll draw a line right in the middle. Now I've got what I call, you know, the snaps on, so as you can see, the line, this little triangle comes up. Now, if you don't have that, you can try, uh, try pressing your F3 key to turn it on. And if you don't have that at all, just escape out of the command by pressing the escape key twice. Type OS and then press space or enter. And in this screen here, it shows you all the different things that you can snap onto. So you can select the ones that you want um, as you know, sort of standard things. Uh, these are the ones I have turned on. Um, another thing you can do is I just start the line command. Mine's already snapping to this, but if I don't have a particular snap on and I want to do that uh, snap on a something without going opening that menu or that window I just opened, I can hold down the shift key, right click, and it comes up with all the different things anyway. So I'm gonna snap onto the midpoint. So I select there and come down here. So there's my web. Now we said that was four and a half millimeters. So what I'll just do is I'll offset that um, half the web thickness on either side. So Four and a half divided by two is 2.25. So I can offset, select the line, offset to the right, select the line, offset to the left. Now I can select this line and I can delete it. So I can press the delete key or type E for race and space. So there, there's our, um, fl the flanges and the web at this stage, but now it's not shown on this particular diagram here. You can see it, maybe slightly see it. Uh, there's a slight little curve at the very bottom where they usually join. So that's not shown. So what we can do is, I'll just have a guess that um, we'll say a three millimeter uh, radius. So what, the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna draw the circle command. So I'll type C for circle and I'll pick on the bottom here and then um, I'll type R for radius and then the number three. So there we have our circle. 
Now, obviously the, it curves the other direction, uh, not the direction that it's currently showing. So what I can do is I can just select the, the, the um, circle. I can move it here and then I'll move it across. And as you can see now, that's that's a sort of um, the curve that we sort of want. Uh, as I said, I've, I've guessed the, the radius at this stage, but just for example, uh, but what we need to do is we need to trim that now. So we type TR for trim, press space or enter, and we'll select this line and this line, and we'll see what happens. And then press space, all right, and then, then select where you want to get rid of. There we go. So that worked pretty well. And what we need to do as well is we need to mirror this across. So one, one way I'll do that, so I'm going to draw a line here. And there's a couple of different ways to mirror. Uh, I'll show you the way I usually use. So I'll select the object I want to mirror and this line, which I will delete later, just, just using it for this. And I'm going to select right in the middle. So now it's a red hot grip. Now down the bottom here, if you can see the command prompt, once you go into this hot grip mode, you get some sele um, selections that you can choose from. So stretch, if I press space, it goes to move. If I press space again, rotate, scale, and mirror. And if I keep pressing that space bar, it'll just keep cycling through the same things over and over again. So I'm going to stop on mirror. And as you can see, as I've moved the mouse, it's already starting to want to move it over there. But the thing is, if I don't copy it, it'll just move it across. So if I type C for copy, and then press space, and then left click, and then I can press the escape key, and then we've got that there. So I'm just going to delete this, select this and delete it. Now I'm going to use the trim command again. So TR for trim, select this, and this one, press the space, and then we'll just get rid of that. All right, so we've done the bottom there. Now what I'm going to do is draw a line, whoops, draw a line from here. So it's in the midpoint, right across. And that way I can select these two, select this, and mirror again. So make it hot grip, cycle through to mirror, C for copy, and there we go. We can see those are up there. I can delete this now, and we're going to trim again. So TR for trim, select this, select this, press the space, and then get rid of what you want. All right, so there we go. So we got that. Uh, the other thing we need to do now is uh, clean up here a little bit. So I'll trim again. I'll select these lines. Press the space bar. And get rid of that. So there's our beam. The only thing is that you'll notice that it's just separate lines. So we can make this one continuous uh, line uh, called a polyline. And the way we can do that is just type the letter J for join. And we'll select something. And we'll just select um, all of this. We'll just drag a big thing right around it. And then press um, press space. And then you can see it's one big polyline now. And uh, so it's easy. You can hatch that if you wanted to. So um, anyway, I hope you found this tutorial quick and easy. And if you've got any questions, please leave them below.